Hey guys, I'm Taylor Rose and welcome to my channel. On this channel I will be reviewing the books that I read in my free time. I do read off of my iPad because I do live in a foreign country and having a bunch of physical books around when presumably I'll be moving <laughs> in the near future, not really an attractive idea. So unfortunately I can't show you the books, but I will put the cover up here. I read primarily fiction. I really like sci-fantasy, regular fantasy, myth punk is my favorite genre. I like historical novels, young adult most of the time. I do not generally read genre fiction, so romance novels, crime novels, detective -y. you know. Yeah, what do they call them, like airborne novels? Not my scene. But if you like those genres as well, please, you know, subscribe down below. Also comment, give me suggestions on books to read. I, you know, I read a ton. I always am open to pretty much anything. Um, fair warning. <laughs> I may or may not be a rather critical person, so don't get offended if my opinion does not match your opinion about a book, because everyone's different. I just nitpick a little more than the average person, probably. Um, here is the general outline I will be following in all of my videos, so you know what I'm doing in the future. First, I will start by introducing the book. So the author, when it was published, the synopsis of the book, you know, what kind of book it is, what kind of happens. Um, I would not be giving away spoilers at this point. After I introduce the book, I would then go into my rating system. So I have a 25 point rating system with five categories. Each category is worth five points, obviously. It can go from zero to five. And so consequently, high score, the best score is 25 points. We'll see if anything gets there. <laughs> um, so let me go over the categories really quick. Category one, character. So how realistic are the characters? You know, are they relatable? Not necessarily likable, you know. Some really good books I've read have had characters that aren't at all sympathetic, but they are believable. They feel like real people. You can buy their decision making, even if they're making bad decisions. Um, I'll also be considering like how consistent is the character, you know, addressing their character arc. Does it make sense? Right? Category two is plot. So I will be considering how things unfold. Do the events make sense? Is the timeline believable? You know, if a huge countrywide war breaks out in the span of a week, are you, <laughs> are you kidding, right? Like that's unrealistic, unless it's been set up properly, right? Um, I will, you know, talk about how predictable the events are. Does it, was there like actual emotional weight with the story? Like, do you, can you care about this? Also, foreshadowing. Is it there? Was it heavy handed? Was it just right? Like, do you look back and think, oh my gosh, now it all makes sense. Nothing really out of the blue. Everything fits together into a well considered plot. Category three is world building. So this is probably my favorite category because I have really high standards. So how unique is the world? Is it derivative? Is it basically our world but everything has fancy names so therefore it's fantasy giving you some side eye. <laughs> Young adult is especially bad about this but you know my opinion will vary based on like the audience of the book. 
you know, reasonably. Other than that, is the world believable? Would it function? Are there no, like, glaring errors? Like, somehow feeding and raising pigs in a world where everyone's starving to death, <laughs> etc. Also, cultural. Cultural stuff. Um, you know, is there a religion? Is there you know, history behind what's going on, do you really get taken into a new world? Or is it flat? Not very interesting. You don't feel it's anything special. Category four is craft. So how well is the book written? Does it show you what's happening versus tell you what's happening? Do the words and like the word choice, does it make sense? Do the descriptions make sense? How accurately written is it? Also the structure, what is it like? Is it taken advantage of? Does it really contribute to the story or was it difficult to understand? That sort of thing. And finally, category five is cogency. So basically cogency for me is how believable is this book? Like. Can you suspend your disbelief or are you constantly taken out of the book by something, right? So is it immersive? Are you carried away by this story? Um, and also kind of, it's just like my impressions of the story, you know, how did, how did I feel about it overall? You know, like, <laughs> am I able to believe? If I'm able to believe, probably you will, right? That's about it. So at that point in the video, I would be kind of done um, with the like spoiler free part of the video. If you're really sensitive to spoilers, if you, you know, hate ha hearing even a hint of information about what happens in the story, probably after I give the final score, after I go over the five categories, you will want to cut out and go watch a different video. Um, but after that, I will go over the highlights of the book. So my most favorite parts and my least favorite parts. I will try to balance out the good and the bad. Many people in my life have told me I'm a very critical person. So I, I will definitely be reining back my negative my, my negative, you know, things that I notice, right? My negative opinions. I'll try and like tamper them down. Um, obviously, you know, I will tell you <laughs> if anyone bought this book for me, but otherwise I have purchased the book myself and don't know the author at all. So I feel like I have a pretty unbiased opinion that I feel like sharing because I have a lot of them when I read. If any of that interests you, please um, feel free to subscribe down below, like this video, and comment what you want to read. What did you think about the book when you read it? You know, let's, let's talk about it. Um, I will try and post every Saturday or Sunday, so once a week is my goal. So I hope to see you next week. <laughs> Bye guys.